Seen it? You seen me? I'm capable. I'm qualified, and I'll be the best president for this country. So whoever is doubting should ask me. Well, say I should be the next president. I'm one of those who loves people of Uganda. I'll do for them all what they need. Of course, you have no our problems in our sectors, and it's me who knows it very well. I know the economics of this world, and I can tell you I can practice it better for the country. President, though I do very many things, resources, both natural, human beings, and those where we can get money. The only problem we have is wastage, is management, and of course we can't go out corruption. And these are our main problems. Of course, seven has been around 40 years are good enough. It's time for change. Corruption is there, you can't deny. Let me give an example of PDM here. I'm told the villagers before he gets the one million, they are taxing him. That's a clear indicator that even in our homes, in our villages, there's corruption. And the corruption is from human beings. And what we have to do is to work on mindset. How best do we run the country? One, is your country yours? Is the person you're serving yours? Why would you cheat him? Why wouldn't you provide him a good or a service? As you are in that office. And you want to serve. So that's how we can do it. And it's possible. And I can tell you it is possible. It's very well, very well. I'm the Secretary General. Who is the President? And you are aware we are elected on 5th October for another five years. And I can tell you. This party is going to take power. The divisionism that is there? No, no, the division is not there. Of course, there are just a few individuals who believe that they are above a party. That it's there the day more nobody else. But there's no division. If you get people are selfish, they will always demand of uh, division. They will claim they know better. But I can tell you, the party is here. And the party is like a, a, a vehicle. Others will enter, others will jump out. And those who will stick in will reach. But I can tell you the party is going to reach the destination what it was for. You see, these are selfish reasons. Because if you're not selfish, you'll be stick in. I, I participated in the election of the party president in FDC in 2012. I lost with 32 votes. I never left. Mukisha Mont lost with about 200 or 300 votes. He ran away. Dr. Vyasege decided that for him is leaving the party, he wants to go for activism. We thought he had gone to do activism, we supported him. It came a time when we had the one supporting him. When in 2021 elections came, we put a candidate he never supported. But him, he wants us to support him. You saw he formed the PFT. When we said we're not going with him, it collapsed the same day. Now he has known there are people who are already there. So we've been working as donkeys of Vyasege. We've been, we have been the, 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 the workers. Nice time to say no, let us work and see that we take power in this country. And I want to tell you, there is no need to hate one another. This country is for all of us. You, you are in FDC, you, you are in MOOP, you, you are in DP, you are in UPC, you are in NRM. We are brothers and sisters. What a hatred for, but we want to teach people of Uganda that politics and the party where somebody is does not mean hatred. So we're not ready to fight the personal wars for others. No. And I mean and I'm not in that. And if I get defeated in that, I'll come back to Kusama Gandhi. I'll tell people of Uganda we need to be united. This country is ours. And I want to tell NRM that you see, you have served the years for 40 years. It's time also to give space to another party to serve. It's not necessary for you to say that you are the best dancer. 40 years are good enough. And we can tell you they are good enough. What you have done, you have done. And what you have not done, you will not do it, give another person to do it. Thank you. For the leader of opposition. And when, um, because I give you experience, when we're going to do a boycott, we call all of us. Sit and agree. And when you're boycotting parliament, you don't boycott a portion. We're not going to be in house. We're not going to the committees. You don't travel out. Nowadays, you don't even eat food. Because if you have refused to work, would you eat? So this boycott of these people nowadays, where you are busy on the flights, you are busy in the committee meetings because there's allowance, you are busy in the field, you are in the canteen eating food, eating two plates of food, it's very dangerous. That's why I don't agree with them. Now, what are you boycotting for? We should all agree. So this boycott should be total. And they must agree with all parties. 
And for me, we have told if this is whip. But tell us, where did you agree to boycott? I, I went to parliament. They started castigating me. When I went for the oil what? law, I knew oil law is worse. As if it passes without us making a comment. It's going to kill the people of Uganda. When somebody dies, they bring in parliament. You say we have suspended the boycott. We go to parliament. Why do you leave a law which is going to kill the whole people of Uganda? Please, these are double standards. And I, when I look at them, I just say they are young boys and young girls. But of course, some people have personal interests. You see, you can tell me, you, let me tell you, I come from FDC. When NUP was opening an office, it, bore, it, it took Okaija and Rukwago and said, This is the president of FDC and this is the secretary general. So, who are type of persons are those? They don't know where power is. So if they are dealing with those ones, they don't want to tell the MPs not to, not to boycott, not to boycott. But the ones of mine, I'm going to say I don't know NOOP. Eh? I will tell them, no, for us as FDC, as a party, we don't know NOOP because they don't respect us. I, I hope you are getting it. There are things we do which must work together. An opposition must work in a, a, as a team. And why if you are calling people for opening an office, why would you call, or, if I'm going to open my house, eh? I don't have to call on FDC. I should call the whole because like in the bloody West here and strong and all I I have friends across the divide. The NRMs, the DPs and what. We only go there when we're going to do politics. But when we're going to eat food, you need uh, to say I need the NFDC to come and eat. It's wrong. The NUP should have invited all parties to come, but not going to go and select the street boys and call them that they are the members of they are people of a party. That's useless. First, let me start with that, then I deal with the mall. I don't know mall. I have asked people, how do you measure a mall? I don't know who has a measuring tool who measures malls. Because here, we are all here. I don't know what you're thinking. You don't know what I'm thinking. I can be laughing when they said I'm not what? Laughing. So people determine to determine others, call them any other names. You are free to call anybody a name. I know I can never be a mole. A mole is some animal which eats small grow, cassava, I'm not the one. Raw one, eh, from the soil. I know what took me to parliament, I know what took me to politics, and I'm here. I am a member of FDC, I'm the Secretary General of FDC, I am not a mole of anybody, and that must be very clear. And for me here to serve with this one, I serve it as one heart. I don't know what is the measuring tool for me to say that I don't serve Bagiso. For example, the Bugis Cooperative Union is one of the only surviving unions. In the Uganda, where Chagaranya believes to be coming, there's West Mango, there's East Mango, there's Massacre Growers, there's what? Where are they? Where? You see, that's why people can never have power. For me, I will, if anybody wants in this country to give anybody power, you give somebody power who is tested. And how are you tested? I give you a chicken, you rare, it produces, I give you, now you, may, you get goats, from a goat, you're entitled to a cow. You have never read even a chicken. We gave it died. We, then you give it a goat, it dies. Do you need a cow? <laughs> so you cannot manage a cow. It's us to do it. You have seen the British Cooperative Union. I don't know there's any form of complaining. I don't know. You can't come and determine for us. So is there any British complaining of anything? Right now, all the farmers are excited. Everybody has got his money for his coffee. Meanwhile, the coffee is there. When we sell, we make money. And the money is for Magiso. So how did you want, how did he want me to serve them? I carry them on my head so that he says I'm carrying them. Indeed, I'm carrying them to ensure they can take their children to school, to ensure they have medical, to ensure they have good homes. And I'm doing it with one heart. So you people of Magiso are the ones to make a decision. Am I serving you or not? But not a person coming from another region to come and determine for you that I'm not serving you. That's another story. You should be able to explain. Me, I know I'm serving. If I wasn't serving, I would have been thrown away. But I'm sure none of you wants to throw me away.